Well, here's your latest update on the expected and ongoing snow across uh, much of the area, especially east of the divide. You go to our Washington's warnings and advisories. All the impacts basically east of the divide, also across southern Wyoming. Pink areas are going to have the most impact. Those are winter storm warnings. Eastern slopes of the winds, uh, Lander Foothills, also the uh, Greater Rattlesnake Range, Casper Mountain as well. Areas around it, winter weather advisories, not quite as much impact. But still could be some rough travel conditions, basically Evanston, Rock Springs goes over to Rollins, all the way over to Cheyenne as well. It includes uh, the Riverton area, also in Trona County, including Casper, also up here across the Bighorns as well. You want to start and end times on these? Just go to our website right there, weather.gov slash R-A-W. <coughs> Excuse me. Are we talking about the impacts? Basically a north to south moving situation here. So it'll be starting up north during the morning hours, and they're pressing north to south as the cold front drops south and puts some colder air in here. Now, the start time will be during the morning hours, but not really a lot of impacts during the day, especially in the lower elevations. It's going to be fairly borderline with temperatures. It's been pretty warm lately. We have the strong March sun, late March sun right now. It's about as strong right now as it is in uh, late September, so that's the main impact there. Also could mix with rain at times in the uh, lower elevations. Main impacts going to be during the uh, nighttime hours, especially after the sun goes down. And you can see the areas in red. Those will see the maximum impacts out of these. And we take a look at the wind gusts here. It'd be a pretty good wind with this, I think, especially after midnight into Thursday morning. And uh, the strongest winds will be here across uh, Sweetwater County. You know as well as I do. You get snow, you get wind down there at the same time. It's not going to be very pleasant down there. Really rough travel conditions there. Rock Springs, Orchard 1, Sutter gust of 40, maybe 50 miles per hour going over South Pass. It's going to be fun either. Gust of 55 there. Just about anyone here can see wind gusts to 30, 40 miles per hour as those winds get cranking later tonight into the first part of tomorrow. Now we start with the probabilistic stuff. I want you to keep uh, two words of the day for this, where the heaviest snow is going to set up. Number one, it's going to be upslope, that northeasterly upslope like this. Notice where the mountain ranges are here, here, and here, and here. That's where the heaviest snow is going to fall. And number two, it's going to be elevation. This is going to be a very elevation dependent as far as how much snow you're going to get getting toward uh, springtime, that's usually the case with these systems. Now the chance of two inches or more with this, pretty good chance we have those highlights out about uh, an 80% chance across the I-80 corridor, just about 100% around Lander, 50% around Riverton. About a 70 chance around Casper, again, elevation dependent. This is downtown. You get south of uh, Wyoming Boulevard toward the mountain, it goes up substantially there, and about a three and five chance around Buffalo. Bump this up to six inches, right there. It shrinks with this a little bit uh, across the I-80 corridor, and about a one in three chance on average of seeing six inches or more. It's best chance that it'll be south of I-80 down toward the Colorado border, though. Across uh, Fremont County, about a three or four chance around Lander. Not much of a chance around Riverton, just about a one percent chance. It's just about non-existent. Fifteen percent chance again downtown Casper for this. When you get down toward the mountain, the chances go up substantially, especially toward the mountain. About a one in eight chance around Buffalo. Most other areas, not that much. We bump this up to 12 inches. Again, uh, best chance is going to be across the higher elevations. This is the Wind Rivers there. Casper Mountain, maybe a very small portion of the Bighorns here, but the only town that really has a chance of seeing a foot right there, probably Lander, about a one in five chance. That's going to be downtown. You get down towards Sinks Canyon, toward the higher elevations there, much better chance there. You get toward Bruce's campground before you go up the switchbacks up the mountain. Could be 18, 20 inches of snow there, but if things set up right. Now, a range of possibilities here. This is the low end amount if we don't get a lot of snow. I think at least a couple inches across the I-80 corridor, at least four inches around land. You're probably going to see at least a foot across portions of the uh, Wind Rivers, especially the higher elevations. Maybe just an inch around Casper because it's going to be mixing with rain, but get toward the mountain. Mount School up substantially, at least six to eight inches across the higher elevations there. Most other areas, just a very small accumulation. Now, likely the uh, highest amount we'll see out of this. Still have that big range there, though they have come down just a little bit, about six to nine inches across I-80. Moving further north, maybe 15 inches around Lander. Again, higher amounts as you head towards Sinks Canyon. Maybe that might be 20 as you head toward that area. Four inches around uh, the Riverton area, about two inches around uh, Dubois and Shoshone at the most. Maybe six inches around downtown Casper, more as you head toward the mountain, eight around Waltman. Maybe six inches in Buffalo. This will be mainly to the uh, west side of town up when you get up toward the Bighorns. Further east you go, much less of a chance there. Bighorn Basin about one to three inches, highest amounts with that northeasterly wind. Again, Cody, best chance of seeing three inches there. Much less as you head toward Greenville and Moreland since it'll be down sloping here. Areas across the west, most of the sea is one to three inches, just a nuisance snow for you. 
Now, I'm finally going to show you the most likely possibility out of this, but take this with a grain of salt. It's what we think right now. As you expect, if you just about smack dab in the middle, right now, 24 hours still I'm out. About that two, about two to three inches around river, and one to two might be a little less there. About six to 12 around lander, again, very elevation dependent here. Same thing around Casper, three to four downtown, more as you head toward the mountain, four to six around Waltman. Along the I 80 corridor, about two to four around Green River, Rock Springs, four to six as you head out toward the higher elevations, out toward Juan Sutter. I 80 corridor, one to two around Buffalo, again, very elevation dependent. You get four or five miles west here, you could have five or six. And uh, much of the decor base, just encoding to an inch is what we're expecting. Those are out west, about one to three inches of the higher, highest amounts in the mountains. Want resources? Just go to our website, weather.gov slash RW. And for road conditions, again, don't call us for the road conditions. Go right here, yroad.info in state. If you want to call them on the phone, 511 if you're in state, 188 Wild Road out of state. Be safe, everybody, and enjoy your day.